Hi, we're at the historic Marine Stadium in Miami, Florida, and we're looking at Ray Marine's augmented reality system. This is on an Axiom XL16 aboard our Boston Whaler 380 Outrage. So the scene we have here in front of you, we've got a forward view from a CAM 220 IP with augmented reality data. Here we're looking at charted navigation aids and AIS contacts um, overlaid on the live visual image. This all happens through a device called an AR200 augmented reality processor module that we have installed on the boat. So it's got a, a bunch of sensors in it and a GPS, and it uses it to stabilize this image um, to keep all the graphics aligned with the, the uh, actual objects you see on the screen. Um, AR is great because it brings identification to all these boats and all these navigation aids out here, day or night. When you're in challenging visibility like fog or haze or even uh, in the dark, uh, it can help you to confirm the positions of navigation aids, uh, get the names of other vessels that are uh, approaching you, um, and it can help you see your own marks and waypoints uh, right on the live display. One of the cool things we can do here is we can also query targets in the AR display and have them registered for us over here on the chart. So I've touched the Island Queen. This is one of the ferries working the Miami Boat Show this weekend. And you can see when I touch it over here, it shows me exactly where they are on my navigation chart. I can get more details about the Island Queen just with a long press. So I get its course, its speed, its CPA, and I can go even farther uh, and look at additional AIS information about it. You can run the augmented reality either in a split screen mode like we have here, or we can also show it in a full screen presentation. So if you have the space on your helm, if you have large displays, the full screen AR is a really nice thing. Now, one thing you may notice, it's got this compass bar across the top. So it actually was reporting the compass heading of the vessel. And the image that we're looking at here is stabilized. It's, um, it's actually relatively calm where we are, but there's a little bit of motion to the boat. You'll notice that the horizon actually stays level. Um, if we're out on a rough and choppy day and the boat was rocking and rolling quite a bit, you'd still see a nice level horizon on the display. Uh, so that's some, one of the main features of the AR200 is to provide that stabilization so you get a nice, clean, crisp image that's easy to read, uh, even if there's a lot of vessel motion. One other thing we've got down here at the bottom, um, these allow us to control the layering. Uh, I can turn off the AIS contacts or turn them on. Um, here I can turn on or off the chart objects. These are coming from my Navionics charts, buoys and nav aids. Over here I can adjust how far away I'm looking at augmented reality data. So I'm seeing targets out to a mile. Uh, if I was out on open water, I might want to set that out a little bit farther. So you can see if I go out here to four miles, I'm seeing nav aids, AIS targets, other AR objects that are much farther away. But I'm going to turn that back down just because we're in kind of a congested area and uh, it can overwhelm the screen if you turn too many on uh, or turn the range out too far. So augmented reality is available now. It works on all of our Lighthouse 3 products. Uh, that's Axiom, Axiom Pro, and Axiom XL. The um, components that you need on your system to make this work are AR200 augmented reality processor and either a CAM 210 or CAM 220 IP. Uh, to learn more about augmented reality, you can go to www.raymarine.com.